All right. So I'm trying something new tonight. So I am going live through a different program in hopes to, I really want to start um, showing captions in my lives for everybody and just direction to make it easier and more seamless for you. So don't mind me if I'm double checking things tonight. So I'm just going to make sure on my phone that everything is going as I would like it to. So I won't do this every time just for today. So, okay, we're good. I'm on. So same as always, make sure if you guys are popping on, you are commenting, letting me know where you're watching from. Um, I, I'm able to see all of that as well. So, and I can comment back. I'm just essentially on my computer. So tonight I'm really, really excited to come to you guys and show you the look I recreated from our winter lookbook. So if you guys haven't received this yet, comment below lookbook and I will make sure one of these gets out to you in the mail or I can even send you a link um, to check it out as well. So I recreated the look called Glitter and Glow. So that is what the model is wearing. The only thing I'm tweaking on this actually, we're gonna say that I look, let me see what um, cheat color she used. I honestly just did the eye look on my one side. So, yep, we're just creating the glitter and glow eye look. <laughs> All right, so super excited. So this is on page 24. If you currently have the lookbook, or again, if you want it, make sure you just comment below lookbook and let me know if you guys are liking this video. Comment where you're where you're listening from, all the regular stuff. So I'm gonna jump in and walk you guys through. So obviously I've already done one eye, all right? So let's jump into it and walk through the rest of the look together. So um, as you can see, I just feel like it's opposite on this camera. So this eye, I feel like, it's just popped so much. This one, the other looks really almost like closed and not as open. So I'm really excited to show you guys how I created this look. So I'm going to start off with using um, a light ivory concealer. So I am basically going to try to look beyond the camera. So I am on the lookout for a new ring light preferably if it has a mirror on it so let me know if you guys have a favorite you like or one you have seen so i just like to use the concealer because it really um gives a good base to start with for an eye color the eye primer is great too i just like to actually get it all one tone so especially if you have um like darker um colors of skin on your eye, either the under eye corrector or a, a concealer is a great starting point. So again, I just have the light ivory concealer. All right, so next I'm going to use a blossom. So that's this color right here. So again, make sure you guys are commenting, letting me know you're here. And as always, um, Every comment gets you an entry into the free um, full-size product drawing that I'll do. And every week, basically, I go back to the previous week's uh, video and go through the comments and post a comment below um, of who the winner was. All right. So if you share this video, it doubles your entries. So that's the best way to get the most bang for your buck, for your comments, <laughs> engagement. All right, so there is the blossom all over. All right, so I used the all over eyeshadow brush for this. So I love this. Um, it's just nice and flat. And I do have multiples of these just so I don't have to worry about mixing colors or anything, okay? So the next color I'm gonna use is going to be Dusty Rose, which is this pink right here. And this is using our blending brush, eye blending brush. So 
so this is like the best brush ever. I was so happy when they came out with this. So I've been waiting. So again, Dusty Rose, I'm just gonna take that and work that all in the crease. There you go. So now you guys can see what I'm doing. Again, I'm just going to blend. So I'm picking up a really small amount of product on the brush each time. Okay. So there's that. The next color I'm going to use is granite. So that is the third one down. So this color right here. Again, same brush. I actually didn't even clean it off, to be honest with you. So again, wherever you first place the brush is where the bulk of the product is going to go. So I am essentially going over that same area. But as I continue to add that granite, I'm really going to focus it right on like that corner of the lid. So now I'm going to pick up the smudger brush just so I have a little bit more control of the product. Okay. So again, I know it looks different. I'm just trying to get used to a new way I'm trying to do the video. So if you are on, just let me know. Say hi. Let me know where you're watching from what you're up to tonight. So now I just took that granite and I worked that underneath the eye on the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the blending brush. Yeah, I definitely can't look into the camera for this one because it's all opposite, so it confuses me. All right, so I'm going to add more in just a second, but honestly, I want to do the liner first, and then I can add more product as I need to. So the liner I'm using tonight is just our regular... Um, our crayon eyeliner. So it does have a little sharpener on the top. This comes in black, deep brown, and then steely, which is kind of like a, it's like a gray, but on me, it actually, like once it's on my eye, and I'll show you it um, another time, but it like makes it look almost like a blue. So just with my lashes, I try to just angle it above them. And if you ever struggle with liner, just think of it like do little dashes. You don't want to like pull too hard on the eyelid either. So now I'm going to go the other direction. And again, just because of my lashes. There we go. And then I'm going to tight line underneath. Okay. Now, this is just an old eyebrow brush. So now our eyebrow brush has like a spoolie. Okay, so this is just the old one. I just want to really um, smudge out that eyeliner. Then I'm going to go back in with the granite and smudge that in underneath. OK, 
Okay, so I am getting a little underneath, but I'll show you guys how to take care of that. Okay, I look bald when I don't have my hair down. <laughs> so this is our waterproof mascara. I'm just gonna wipe off the excess. I have to stand up. Okay, let's see, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go back under and even out. Because you can see this eye is a little bit thicker than the other. So what I'm gonna do is actually pick up an eyeshadow, but I'm gonna let that dry so I don't smudge it. So while that dries, the next color we're gonna do is gonna be crystalline. So this is gonna go right up on the brow bone. So that's this one right here. And then in the corner of the eye. So you can kind of see, sorry, <laughs> right here, you can really see how that's brightened. And then up here. So that's that crystalline. So I'm just putting it on like the tip of the brush again so I have more control. The first pot you place it is where the majority, where the majority of the product will go. And again, I'm using a different brush just so I'm not like mixing colors and then accidentally put on like a dark color there. Okay. So there is that. It's so weird because it's opposite. <laughs> I'm trying my best. All right. So as you can see, whoop, whoop. <laughs> this brow is done. This one isn't. So where did I put my brow product? I really need a better setup for where my product is. So I have a mirror. There it is. Found ya. Found ya. The secrets behind the scenes. This is holding up a mirror. You're welcome. You get to see it. I hope I entertain you, if anything, you know? Okay. So this is the, the dark blonde brow definer precision brow liner if i knew the name eh you too can do what i do so really here i'm just like basically carving out that brow so you notice i was a little bit heavy handed with the line, but now I'm like softer to create those other hairs. And really the rest of it is just going to be done with the brow tint. So this is dark blonde as well. And I'm always rubbing off the excess. Okay. I love this because it's super small. You can really have precision in control with what you're doing. Bam, don't have to spend a lot of time. I love that. As you guys know, my brows are microbladed, um, but I can do them and fill them. I just, it's not my favorite thing to do in the world, you know? All right, so now I'm gonna pick up a little bit of our Onyx just to like even out the thickness of the liner. So let me know, what are you guys liking so far? What are you learning? Oh, I'm just gonna, that's just under eye corrector. Liquid brush. And this is good just to, I just had my foundation on from earlier today, but this really helps to clean up any of the product that may have dropped. 
underneath the eye. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little bit more foundation again, just to kind of like finish everything up. And I'm talking teeny amount. So this is Ivory N160, it is luminous. I cannot find my matte one to save my life, but this will still look good. Especially with the weather changing, my skin changes, as you guys know. So I use honestly a little bit of everything, especially as the weather starts to change and then my skin gets drier. It's very finicky sometimes. It can change from day to day or season to season. You know. Okay. Okay, let's see. Again, it's all opposite. Okay, I just wanna do a touch more of crystalline. Now I don't remember which brush I used. They're both pretty light, so I think we'll be okay. All right, so I'll just do a very little bit. Okay, I just can't see very well. All right, so just since what I have down here, this is different than the look in the lookbook that I'm going to be using, I believe it's Wineberry. So I'm super excited. I just created this palette. So I'll be doing a look um, showing this. So this is really nice. There's pressed powder, the highlighter, there's cream to powders up here, um, the contour. <laughs> I'm clearly not used to the opposite. Uh, oh, it's opposite here. All right. I don't have the brush I want, but we're going to make it work. All right. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that contour powder. So this is cocoa. Again, not normally the brush I would use, but we're going to work with what we got here, people. And then I believe this is Wineberry. So I'm doing it just on the edge. So again, I don't have my brush, the one I want right now. So. So I'm really excited to show you guys the next product. So this was available, I want to say last spring or summer, and it's back for the holidays, which I love because it is a really pretty berry color. So it is called our pH lip balm. So this can look a little bit different on everybody, which is what I love, depending on your pH. So it really customizes to you and your body. So this is the berry. So really pretty. It actually looks pretty dark there, but it's really not. So this really reminds me of a good like chapstick, like lip tint, but it's super, super moisturizing. So all of our lip products are great. Even our, our lip glosses have vitamins in it. So it helps to um, actually replenish your lips and it's not sticky or anything. But I love this. Again, it's the pH lip balm and berry. Make sure I said that. Yeah. Berry. There's pink or berry. So comment below pink if you want me to show you a look with the pink color.
So again, really, really, really pretty. And it's so easy to put on. Okay. So, of course, because I'm obsessed with the highlighter, we got to add some of that. So, this is the Canary Diamond. So, comment below, compact, if you want to see a look just using one compact, which is really nice. That's a lot. That is a lot. We're going to do the best we can. Okay, so it's just a clean brush. Okay, again, it's opposite, Brittany. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys think? Do you like it? Let me know. And then let's take a look at the other looks and you guys can vote on which one you want to see next. Definitely have a bristle. There we are. So like, look at how much brighter my eyes got besides being tired and looking at a computer screen all day in red, but look at how much brighter they are. So there's the bristle. You're welcome. This is a great one. Share this video for sure. If you're going to share any. I think you should do this one, you know, definitely looking good. Okay. So there's picture perfect. Ooh, this one's pretty too. Picture perfect. This is the one again, her lips are different, but this is basically what I just did. Ooh. Um, let's see. Usually they'll tell me okay or the front so co comment cover or picture perfect and I'll take pictures and comment it below let me know which one you want to see in the future and I will do another video so I hope you guys learned something I hope I made you laugh but super fun, easy look. Still got it, got the brush. All right, so just wanted to showcase some of our, our winter looks coming up. Um, for those of you that haven't yet, um, if you did not get your uh, lookbook, comment below lookbook and I would be happy to send you one or even send you the link to look at it virtually. So uh, make sure you guys, again, you have until this time next week to comment below. And I'm really excited for next week. So let me know. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see more skincare or makeup? Let me know in the comments and have a great rest of your Monday night.